Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Crazy Life Homestead. I'm Mo. It is a frosty morning here on the homestead. I have fed the horses. They are doing just fine. I've got to throw them some hay, and then i got to go to the paint store, hopefully for the last time. Now, Mama blew a bulb, so i got to get a light bulb, roller, and two different color gallons of paint. So, it's going to be a busy morning. And the object today is to do at least two rooms, vacuum, and then shampoo, uh, along with some paint. So, still not allowed to show you what uh, is going on in there, but it looks good. It's getting down to the end. <clears throat> we are busting it. Um, I figure another three days and we should be done. So, it's almost there. It's almost there. So let me throw some hay to these guys. I gotta wait for her so I can get her out of her pen. And uh, then we're off to the store. These are pretty fat. These two share everything. If curiosity killed the cat, it definitely is going to get these two. They must be full because they're not even touching the hay. <clears throat> this is what we wanted to see. We wanted to see this for a long time. Which means they're nice and warm. And I'm pretty happy with that. This one loves her grain, so she's going to sit there and eat her grain, and then she'll go have her second half of the meal, which is the hay, and she will definitely go after it because she loves it, and that's been her routine for the last 30 years, except for last year. <laughs> so basically, I'm just waiting on her to finish. And when she does, we'll open up the panel and she can go get her food. Let's go see how much she's got left. She don't have a lot left. You ready to go get your hay? I guess she is. She looks great. Well, maybe not. Alright, let's open up the gate for her. 
she can have her way. Afternoon feeding. The game begins. All right, let's get him fed. Dang, girl. Things are back to normal.
it's about 36 degrees. The sun's been out, clear skies. I've had a beautiful day out here. Been painting, uh, trying to get that cathedral ceiling done. That's a pain, especially around the kitchen. I can't get past a cabinet. I get up on the very, very, very big ladder. I'll show you here. Not a fun thing, that's, that's tall. But the cathedral ceiling is 12 feet and I am afraid of heights without my uh, harness on. I, I am a hunter, but I have a harness on when I get up into the tree and I'm a hunter. <laughs> and I get up in the tree, I strap myself to the tree and I'm good. Well, I don't have my harness, so I'm up there trying to get my balance, and I, I got it done. I got most of it done. Uh, I got to go back up there again, and it's easier to do the wall this way than it is to do it this way. You know what I mean? Don't do the ceiling, but you could do the wall, so I can cut the wall real quick, and it'll look a lot better. But all in all, it is what it is. Uh, just trucking away and I got some of the laundry room done I got a good portion of the kitchen done I still have to wrap the cabinets so that they don't get any paint on them not that it wouldn't come off it'll come off um, I have been using a rag to get most of it so <sighs> other than that it's just day-to-day -day in and out stuff right now um, I figure I've got another three or four days before it's all finished. Uh, I didn't bring the belt that goes with the shampooer for my Kirby vacuum because it's got a shampooing system. I didn't bring the belt that goes in and getting the belt off the other head is really difficult. So I will try and go home and figure out where those belts are. And if I can't, I'll have to steal the belt or mama talked about going to like Kroger and see if we can get like a rug doctor and do a clean that way. But rugs do need to be cleaned. There are one, two, three, three bedrooms, all the closets and the hallway living room rugged. So we have to get those cleaned. Other than that, once that dries and I've got most of the paint done, we should be good. My problem is that my back keeps giving out. So, challenges. They're definitely challenges, but the project has almost come to an end. We're getting there. And just keep hit, just keep chipping at it. Just little by little, keep chipping at it. Don't get discouraged. Keep going. You know, I have until the end of December. This is the end of November. Oh boy. Um, and we will get it done. I'm hoping by tomorrow I'll have a good portion of that done. The nice thing about babysitting is that I can now sit in my car and watch them. I don't have to do it from the trailer and sit in the trailer anymore. All I gotta do is sit in the car and soak up this lovely warmth. It is. It's about 35 degrees. It's about 4.30, and I'm just waiting on Helani. I can't wait for the day that we actually move in. That'd be awesome. It'd be an awesome day. Mama said when the paint is all done, when we're done painting, she's gonna sit on the front porch with a couple of beers and drink.
She had been a long time since she drank, and she said she needed to drink. <laughs> and I'm like, whatever. Just waiting on the baby girl. And the other two are eating hay. I don't know where Mr. Duke is. He's further up. You see, this, this tree right here is in the way. There he is. He still thinks he's going to get into how long he stole. Look at him. Thank you.